Right, we are at Bristol 4x4 days again. I'll put a link in the description. So we've got a busy day today, haven't we, George? We've got the craziest day ever. So start this morning, seven o'clock. We left Swindon. We're down here for 8.30 in the morning in the lovely Bristol countryside. So we have got a collection of cars here today. We've got a Nissan Patrol. There's a couple of Freelander 2s, one behind us, George. Now, right. So this is our Project Freelander 2 that we bought crash damaged. I can't remember what we paid for it, but it wasn't a lot. It was like £1,500. Now we have done nothing to it. We haven't changed the oil. We have put a new front bumper and front cross member on it. We have put off-road tyres on it. We have lifted the suspension and we've done the videos on that. When I first put those off-road tyres on, it was really shaky and I didn't fancy driving it down the motorway with that. So we've had the wheel alignment and the uh, wheels done. Now, the wheel alignment was interesting because I was wondering whether I lift it. People are going, oh, it's going to throw all your suspension geometry out. And they're not wrong, but it turns out it made little difference. Um, certainly not many of the suspension things were out. The toe-in was a little bit out, but we had that fixed. But it drove beautiful on the motorway, didn't it, George? I got George with me today, father and son were out for a bit of fun. And this afternoon, we're going to go and drive the Ineos. We've, got, we've managed to somehow get invited, but I don't think they know that we've got a YouTube yeah. channel, do so they? So which um, video is this going to be? Is this going to be like a 4x4 days video? So this is a 4x4, what can a Freelander do with race suspension and off-road tyres do? we're also going to be recording a vlog. A vlog and, and, an, Ineos video. and an Ineos. So we've got a busy Ineos weekend. Yeah. So we are fat out, right. So here we are. So they're saying that we, they haven't used this off-road track for a month and they're saying it's really overgrown. So this is the same track we've bought the new Defender to. So we know the track quite well now, don't we, George? And we've, we've done various things with the Defender where we've changed the tyres and we let the air down. And Now, I haven't got a compressor in this one, but we have got knobblier tyres on this. Yes. So let's see what we can do. Now, apparently, there's lots going on. Um, apparently, they had a Land Rover Two Owners Club had a day out here. Oh gosh, the grass is tall, isn't it? In the, yeah. you can't see the tracks. And apparently, a lot of the Freelander Twos were getting stuck. Not because the Freelander Twos are bad car, but because most of them had road tyres and they'd had a wet weekend. So let's Hopefully have a look. We'll do all right. So we'll do it now. And then, oh, here we go. We've got the Series 1 up front. We've got a Toyota Hilux. We always love a Hilux, don't we, George? Yeah. Uh, the lads that came last time in that Mitsubishi Outlander, they've got a P38, just a stock P38 with off-road tyres yeah, that, they, that they've picked up for a £1,000. And they are just going to... That is brilliant. I love those boys. They're brilliant. They just, they just buy these cheap cars and just throw them about and see what they can do. Um, it looks tidy for a £1,000. And that's the way you want to do it. That is the way. I think that's because a lot of the time with off-roading, you know, even we buy our big Defender, but then you don't want to scratch it or anything. When you're buying, and that's almost what the Freelander 2 is. It's yes. a cheap car that we can have the ability to scratch and throw Oh, this is muddy here, George. Let's have a look. Oh, now we have got some terrain response on the Freelander 2, haven't we? Yeah. So we can here select here muds and ruts. Now what that will do, whoa, whoa, hold on, this, hold on. Whoa, we're going to, I reckon we just got to go for that, George. What do you reckon? Send, send, go. Send, send it. it. Full send. Full send. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that actually hurt. That actually hurt. That actually hurt. I'm loving air suspension right now. Yeah. Not that we've got it, but I'm appreciating the Defender air suspension. Anyway, we didn't get stuck. And the, hey, the boy behind it in the standard one's done it, look. Fair play. Fair play to him. I hope the camera did that justice. We absolutely <laughs> flew. Um, right, yeah, so after this, so well, obviously this is our first off-road day in the Freelander 2. Um, we are going to take this green lane in more because we started to get worried about scratching the Defender, didn't we, George? Yeah. And we found some tracks and we, we, were, we were sort of wimping out of some of them because they were a bit scratchy. All right, then. Gosh, look, George, look how overgrown it is compared to when we normally Jeez. come. I think it's going to be a lot harder this time from a driving standpoint because you don't have all the assistance that Defender normally gives you. Well, yeah. it itself. You're going to have to do more this time. I know, which is worrying me. Now, we haven't got low ratio, so obviously in the Defender, we can put it in low ratio, which makes getting up hills. But we are in a diesel. And the other thing that's trickier is we are in a manual, manual whereas before we didn't have to worry about, about any of that. 
Now I think I'm going to turn the start stop off. The start stop is off. All right, hold on, what's he doing? We're in a little group, there's three of us. So we've got a standard Freelander 2 with road tires on behind. So we will have a look how we get on. Let's get seat belted up. So we are in, ah, oh, interesting George. Unlike the Defender, <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, when you turn the ignition off and on, it stays in the mode you selected. Wow. Hmm. Evolution yeah. of Land Rovers. Evolution. Is that, a, I'm sure Land Rovers should have done that. We, we, yeah. Anyway, well, the debate will rage. But there you go. The Freelander 2 keeps its, keeps its memory. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? So let's make it nice and easy. So, yeah, low ratio is, first gear is quite high in this diesel car. It's, but the diesel should have lots of torque, so it should be fine. Right, and then we're going to try heel descent control. Now, can I put heel descent control on now? I mean, even though I'm going uphill. Now, has it given me anything? Heel descent. Oh, it says. Oh, it says it's switched off. So I think it comes on as standard. If we look at the dash here. Ah, oh, we've got the little car there. Can you see the yeah. little car there, George? Can you see that on the? Oh. Shine over there. So, so we've got the hill. So it looks like that comes on as standard when you select the the muds and ruts. All right. We're strong. So, again, I'm I'm wary that we've got the Freelander two behind. It's in standard form. So let's try out hill descent control. You look at that. Wonder where's the track gone, George? Yeah, you can kind of see it. Right. So we should have hill descent control on. Yeah. Uh, we have got some display on on it, George. Nothing the camera will really be able to pick, up, pick up now. So what happens if I just take my brakes off? Oh, it's, it's trying to do it, yeah. So I've got my foot off the brakes, I've got the clutch in, and we can hear the brakes just doing it. That's good. That is good. It's pretty much just, it feels like it's just skidding down almost, but... You, you can hear the ABS going... Yeah. That is lush. And we're fine. Right, and let's... Right, let's have a... Right, let's jump. Oh, yeah, Nice and easy. easy. Yeah, that was all right. Could have thrown yourself into that a little bit more. Okay, it's a bit. A bit more commitment is what I'm looking commitment. for. A little bit Sorry. more commitment. Sorry, son. It's all right. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, now just throw yourself into oh, this go fella. On, go on. Go on. Go on. Then. Go on then. Oh, you feel that? Like so oh, that is bad. Oh, he's gonna struggle with that. That's not bad. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Right, I think he's going to struggle. How's he doing? He's done it. He's done it. Mate. That is amazing. These Freelander 2s. Oh, oh. Mate, you're going to make him go up in value. Some market manipulation here. Whoa. Right. Oh, this is the corner where, where the defender gets stuck. Oh, there's some big things going on here. Right. Tip. Fill your washer bottle up before you come. <laughs> Right, hold on then. Let's try and see what we can do here. I'm trying to avoid the big... Oh. You can just hear stuff getting thrown around in the back. Right, now this, this Freelander 2, this little Freelander 2 went to market. This little Freelander 2 stayed at home. This little Freelander 2 is not sure about the hill. We can do it though, honestly. How... Is this better than the Defender? I'm getting a little bit... Like... But the thing is, it's one of those things where, you know when like, 
Well, Leicester won the FA Cup. Your, your expectations are so low, and they achieve such a good result. It makes it even seem makes it even better. Seem better. I, and also, I think our, our attitude is better when driving this yeah. because we can just throw it's it. It's not a fifty thousand exactly. pound car. So therefore, we'll almost perform better as a driver because you'll take more risks. Yeah. So let's have a look. So. Should we consult what the problem was with this freelance stick, or is he just going to take another run up at it? What's, what is the deal? Come on, freelander. Tires are a big one for this one because we it's, found. Yeah, it's great momentum, but it depends how boggy it is down the bottom there. Is he bottomed out now? Oh, I think I've, I think I've got something hanging off my car, George. Let's, Let's go and have a look. Yeah, we have got the. The inner wheel arch, not too bad, but the wind air wheel arch is acting as a sort of active... Oh, nice. It's an active tyre cleaning device, this. So as the tyre goes round, the inner wheel arch is cleaning the mud. Oh, my, the look at this. Oh, look, quality repair. Wait, let, let's, let's oh, move no. around. Oh, no, look, my number No! Look. Oh, dear. He's had a stinker. My, number, my, my, my lens is full of water. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> have a look at that. Uh, yeah, look, quality. Quality, yep. Quality, and we have the nice quality. vertical number plate. Right, yep, that's the new thing. When we're sideways, <laughs> I better see what we're doing. Look at that. And then also, we have some nice, little bit of damage here. Just, it'll be alright, look, 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 look. We'll just clip it back on. Hold on, let's, let's grab that. In a wheel arches, who needs them anyway? Alright then. <laughs> There's just some water just dripping down. I'll just clip that back on. And then what we're we gonna do about the number plate? Take oh. it off. Oh there you go, look. Oh look at that, that's fixed. Look at that. Quality repair. Spit and quality, tape. Quality repair. Look, look at this. That's a good technique, isn't it, George? Whoa. When you haven't got a screwdriver with you. Right then. What are we gonna do about that? Put it in the front window. Ah yes. Ricer style. Gareth Ricer, Gary style, right. <laughs> Sorted. A little bit of damage. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, let's approach the hill. We gotta do it. Right, I'm gonna hold on to the. Whoa. Look at that, sometimes, maybe you just got to stop, let it regain gear up and go again. Whoa, Whoa. that was good. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. It's only because the other guy was behind me and I thought, well, I can't go back. Oh, favour fortune's the brave, George, or something like that. <laughs> right, how's our buddy doing? Yeah, he's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. Come on. Yes. And what's that? That's a stock Freelander that's 2. A stock Freelander Road 2. Road tyres, and the Defender couldn't do that. Defender couldn't do that. Fair play. Yeah, we've certainly, that did the steps as you saw there. George was outside filming in the boiling heat. Thank you, George. Um, yeah, so that that guy who's um, giving me some tips there, absolutely genius. We said go into the left because the, there's a lot of soil built up on the left-hand side and then go a little bit diagonally. Now, one thing I'm really struggling with is the first gear is really quite high. Because it's a diesel and you've got lots of torque, they've obviously configured it with quite a high first gear for normal driving. But for this off-road driving, what I'm finding myself doing whether it's lack of skill or instinct or whatever is I'm putting the clutch in a lot a lot of times when we're, we're going quite slowly and I want to get up something and it won't quite give me the power so I'm sort of slipping the clutch to effectively give me lower gearing which I can smell the clutch getting a little bit hot um, so that's the only real problem but I mean 
That's one thousand five hundred really pounds. Okay, and we've spent a bit of money on lifting it and some cheap remold tires. Two thousand pounds, let's say, let's versus say fifty for the defender, and that's just gone up those steps. Now you could say the conditions aren't the same. It's not as, but this car has gone. Everywhere. We need to do a comparison. I think that's got to be one of the next few videos. Yeah, maybe we'll try some some tests. Is the defender worth it? Well, I mean, we're starting to question it now. Uh, Freelander 2s, I mean, is the Freeland, as the Freelander 2s are getting cheaper now, is it really the next green laning, off-roading, fun, lifestyle vehicle? They don't look as good. They look as good, but we can, we can, we can, we can put some graphics and maybe we should design some like Molly plates or some more off-road accessories, mate. I think the front's fugly. You think the you're not loving the front. I'm not loving We've got the that front. new grill. I haven't launched it yet. I'll put a picture up. I don't, I don't think it's more of the grill. I think maybe get like a winch on it just to kind of extrude the front a little bit. It needs to be manned up a bit. Can we say that in this day and age? More well, aggressive. Yeah. Right. Right. We're going to go now. Now we're going to play the game of how muddy we can get the car because we've got to get this bad boy muddy for the pictures, haven't we, George? Yeah. And it's always a little competition we have here. Yeah. Right. So let's see if we can get muddier than every other car. Let's go. Yeah. And they got what the. Wait, here we go. Oh. Two spare wheels with them. Yeah. That's, is that a pessimist or well prepared? I don't know. <laughs> it's Land Rover. <laughs> it's la oh. Nice little it's bit really of bottom of nice, nice oh. that. Yeah, I'm, I'm bottomed out a bit. But. Right, we've got to get on to our next appointment of the day, George. So, and uh, we haven't had much chance to do much outdoor filming today, but it's absolutely roasting, and George is. I'm dying. dying. I'm in trousers. So absolutely roasting today. So we are going to make our apologies and. Us and gingers make, aren't made for this weather. I'll have not you know. Made for this weather, um, and we are going to get off to our other appointment. Right, let's let's head off. Oh, that's that's close. But yeah, overall, with the with the Freelander oh, too. Made up, made up. Just, just get it home as soon as he gets me home. Um, I'll be delighted. We've got no punctures. And you said we you've done no service on this no. car as well. So this is literally a one thousand five hundred pound car. Let's let's just call it two grand because yeah. of the you know, yeah. And we've just absolutely taken that off road and done everything because we've done the step. Oh, we've done everything. We've done the steps, we've done the thing. Let's go and say, oh, there's some people giving us the muddiest car competition run for our money here. Right, let's go and get a picture with the boys here, and then we'll, we'll head off. We made it absolutely flawless. So I'm totally impressed with the Freelander 2. I've got to be honest. Um, it did every challenge, up the steps, down the steps, up the hill. A um, couple of negative points, just lacks that low ratio gearbox. With this, we had the ground clearance sufficient to do everything with our lifted blocks. Really capable car, drove it back, cruise control, you know, all the standard stuff, air con, comfort, stereo, and we fitted the Android head unit in this one, so we had the, we had Google Maps and everything on it, so we didn't, I didn't miss anything in it, it was absolutely great. So, don't know what we're gonna do on the Freelander 2 next. One thing we're gonna do is the handbrake, so the handbrake was poor, so we'll whip those off, uh, get that new workshop done, get that two poster lift. I've got to wait till the 9th of August till they're coming to fit the three phase electricity. So, well, there we go. Freelander 2, loving it. 